everyone. This is Cindy Harper at Cindy Harper Speaks, and we are going to read the final section in our book, A Whale is Not a Fish and Other Animal Mix-Ups. And today, we're going to learn about the differences between a hedgehog and a porcupine. So I'm going to learn something new because I don't know the differences between a hedgehog and a porcupine. A hedgehog is not a porcupine. Hedgehogs and porcupines are covered with sharp spurs. Both use the spurs to protect themselves, but a hedgehog rolls into a ball when attacked. The hedgehog has one inch long sharp spines all over its body. Just let an enemy come close. The hedgehog rolls into a ball with its spines sticking out. Now the hedgehog is safe from most attackers. A porcupine goes after any attackers, attackers with its quills. So the hedgehog, they're called spurs, and the porcupine, they're called quills. The porcupine's body is covered with sharp quills that are from two to 20 inches long. When an animal attacks, the porcupine strikes out. It runs sideways against the enemy. It swings at the attacker with the quills on its tail. The quills are not poisonous, but they do stick into the enemy's flesh. It's not true that porcupines can shoot their quills at their enemies. Hey. Hedgehogs are small. The biggest hedgehogs grow to about one and a half feet long and weigh about three pounds. Hedgehogs spend all their time on the ground. Hedgehogs live on the land in Europe, Asia, Africa, and New Zealand. They eat the insects, snakes, small animals, birds, and birds' eggs that they find on the ground. Porcupines are bigger. Porcupines grow to be about twice as long, three feet long, and more than 10 times as heavy, about 40 pounds. Some porcupines live in trees. Old world porcupines also live in Europe, Asia, and Africa. They spend all their time on the ground. New world porcupines live in North and South America. They make their homes in pine and fir trees where they eat the bark and leaves. So that was our final section in our book, A Whale is Not a Fish and Other Animal Mix-Ups. I hope that you learned some nice differences. I surely did. It's always nice to learn new information and it's always good for conversations. We can always enlighten others with that which we have learned. So if you like A Whale is Not a Fish, and other animal mix-ups. You can read all of the sections. You can listen to all of the sections at Cindy Harper Speaks. Thanks for tuning in and bye for now. I'll see you next time.